everybody thanks for coming by head first fishing today I'm really excited about this trip we've got going on we're going to go and do some dock fishing we're going to throw live shrimp maybe some lures but we expect to catch possibly redfish sheep's head might be a few trout and flounder you never know a surprise grouper could show up that wouldn't surprise me at all absolutely this is my good friend scott sabor he's coming along we're also going out with captain brandon henley on his flats boat today and we're just going to be scouting around we don't really know what to expect right now so it's kind of uh you know uh search mission i guess you could say to find out what's going on bit of a scouting trip absolutely the water temperatures are lower uh, the fish are probably going to be a little bit finicky a little bit slow so we're going to try to find a, a dock that's holding a significant amount of fish and throw some of these live shrimp at them uh, i guess you could say in general they like a, a bait like that this time of the year because it's a little bit more slower moving yep so anyway, we're going to get going here in a few minutes and head around the point and see what we can do. So Captain B, tell us what the game plan is today. We're going to go out we're going to take a look for some ice box trout. Ice box trout. Water temperature is 55 degrees. Sometimes we can find these big gator trout in the potholes. Land in there, so we'll do a little pulling around, check out some stuff here around the same week, see what happens.
we're getting these trout on today. Seems to be working best is a suspended scope under a popping cork. So a quarter ounce jig head. Uh, fishing three to four feet of water. A nice slow retrieve. These fish are in shallow water, cold water right now. And not real, not real hot to trout. We were throwing some artificial top waters this morning. Weren't getting much action, switched up to the Gulf. A nice slow retrieve. Just like that, these fish are fine. Just sitting there and got picked up. They're coming along, they're picking up on the sand. And it's just that uh, really, really subtle take. Basic, basic sheep's head rig. We're using 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, the half ounce weight, just enough to hold in this current we got going on. Out here, a little one out, I'm sorry, one off J hook, offset J hook, strong enough, strong enough to set the hook and stay, uh, stay fast in their mouth, but small enough to go in there. I just got a connected little loop knot right there. I'm using a uni. Pinch tail off a shrimp, put on like a worm simple as it is for sheep's head fishing. There you go. Sheepy. Beautiful. First sheep's head of the day after several moves. A beautiful one at that. That's about the size you want to catch consistently, right? There. That's nice. That's why you need the right hook. They exactly. are tough. Tough to stick. Nice four, four and a half pound sheep's head. Beautiful fish. Sheepy.
It's all right, just work it back to you just like it's, it's swimming naturally. It'll sit in this basin too. There's the shot. See if we can get that thing to swim naturally. It's already there. Bottom snook. Oh, right there under the dock. Look at that beautiful fish. Not a monster, but it's a beauty. I love them. Incredible fish. Just no weight, straight leader to hook, small hook like we always preach. Live shrimp just kind of sneaking it down that pontoon, and I mean, the bait was down there a couple of seconds. and. He jumped all over it. And that's what the result is. Beautiful fish, let's let it go. Well, I got what I was looking for. I wanted to come in here real quick with some live shrimp and flip up on these docks and boats and stuff like that, see if I could snag a, a snook, pull him on out, and I was successful. So I'm happy with today. Uh, the other guys, Scott and Brandon, they had a great day, caught trout, got sheep's head, got some redfish bites. The redfish were a little bit tricky today, but Hey, that's the way it goes sometimes. Wintertime fishing in Tampa Bay, there's always something going on. You just gotta go out there and find it. Brave the wind, you might be rewarded. Anyway, thanks for checking out Head First Fishing. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share the videos. I appreciate everyone's support. It means a lot to me. I'm working hard to bring you more great content for this channel. Until next time, keep your hooks sharp and your leader lines fresh. We barely escape with our lives. We had a few close encounters out there, but you know, overall it was good fishing. Almost got eaten by a great white shark. Almost got run over by a boat, you know. But that's just that's just the life we live out here, you know. That's it's the risk you take chasing these fish. I mean, you could die at any moment, but it's worth it because I want to hear that drag scream. But all in all, it was a solid day. And you know, we survived despite the demand. The, damn it, I ruined that whole segment. <laughs>